No one was expecting Zelda U news anytime soon, and then BOM! They came out with an awesome gameplay trailer. Let's talk about what we saw. You're listening to Zelda Pulse Measures. So, on Saturday morning, I woke up, and the first thing I saw on Facebook was Nintendo revealed more of The Legend of Zelda for Wii U. Oh man, it's epic. Yes, it is. I don't think anyone was expecting this. We have a guest with us. Hey, Rick. How you doing? Yeah, doing great. So you have your own uh, Let's Play channel and you're doing a Zelda timeline run, right? Yeah, I actually am. I'm doing the all the games from beginning to end. <laughs> should be fun. A lot of games though. <laughs> yeah, should take you a few years maybe. Link in the description below. So I'm Stefan and we also have Frank with us. Hey. <laughs> so what was your reaction? Um, my initial reaction to this trailer, I was so excited I could not speak honestly when I saw it. Um, <laughs> the only problem I did have with it is that they were recording it kind of far away. Yeah. And you couldn't see really much of the detail. Yeah. But other than that, I was astonished that they even announced the, or put that video out there for people to see. It was such a surprise, mm -hmm. really. Yeah. Frank, happy? Uh, I think it looks beautiful. It reminds me of Far Cry 4 a little bit because it's of the mountain areas and with the parachuting and yeah, having these towers around, it's a little bit similar. Yeah, when I saw the trailer, they do look a lot of like, I agree with that. But pure coincidence because the games were developed in parallel. So oh, yeah. But this looks prettier, I think. It's yeah. More it beautiful. And looks really charming. Yeah. Though you can see that it's on the Wii U and it, it's not really high tech or anything, but uh, it really has that Zelda charm. It's super important. Oh yeah. <laughs> The first thing I noticed, by the way, was the uh, magic bar, or energy bar, whatever it will be. I hope there's magic in this game. Well, it could be also a stamina bar, like... Mm. Yeah. More like in a link between worlds. Yeah, hopefully it's either one of the two. I mean, I wasn't too fond of the stamina bar in Skyward Sword. Yeah, me neither. It was, like that. it was too limited, that was my yeah. issue with it. Sprinting was nice, I, I, but it wasn't yeah, long but you, you could it do it for five seconds. So yeah. <laughs> it was non wasn't really satisfying. So yeah, or make it like upgradable yeah. or something. Oh, you know? it, yeah. yeah. Oh man, I'm looking at it right now, and it's so gorgeous. <laughs> and back to horses again. Oh, it, at the end, did you notice? Well, I bet you did. All the horses running along with Link. Yep. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. I wonder if you can just pick up any horse in the environment and uh, make it your own. Because nice. this is not Epona. Despite uh, Shigeru Miyamoto calling it Epona, I'm not. This is not Epona for me. This is for no. me. It's just some random horse. Yeah. And probably you can use any horse in the game, and maybe later you get it's a real Epona. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's that's how I felt about it too. It doesn't look like Epona. Yeah. I think uh, Miyamoto just caught it fed as a joke. Yeah. So, yeah. Or the last time he worked on a Zelda, it was Epona. So. Yeah. Ah, but either way, the, the, the horses are animated, like, most perfectly. So gorgeous. Yeah, oh, we did a great job at Twilight Princess with the horse, but this looks even a lot more realistic. And yeah. That's a great yeah, I'm... I, I like the control, I like the way how the uh, horse steers on its own. It's yeah. really great. Because I remember in Ocarina of Time, I, I, I got stuck on these trees around the area in the east so many times. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the I mean the detail, the amount of detail that they went into it was amazing. You can even see the horseshoes on the bottom of the yeah. of their feet and everything. Like, I I couldn't believe that. I was thinking, uh, what if Link is actually a uh, sort of a cowboy here, where he herds the horses? That would be awesome. Then he needs a cowboy head. <laughs> <laughs> no, not a real cowboy, but more like a farm boy who takes it care of guns. these. Yeah, we already had this basically with Twilight Princess. Yeah, but something like that would be nice. And, and Link does carry uh, Kaiva around for his arrows all the time. You can see it's on the back. On his Quiver, back. yeah. Quiver, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that was really cool too. Um, it looks like he's going to be more of an archer in this game than anything. Yep. Mm. This was already my theory uh, 
two years back or so that I said that the bow is will be very important for this game. Yeah. Because of the, because of the gamepad, because you can really aim nicely with the video gamepad. And yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I thought it, maybe the bow is going to be more important. Obviously but, it is. But I'm still glad that the sword is still there. Yeah, of course. I mean, it has to yeah. be fair. It would be awful yeah. without. Yeah. What do you guys think of the uh, slow motion shooting that he can do off the horse now, though? I like it a lot because <laughs> it's badass. It looks weird at first, but I guess if you play the game, it, it, it feels it will feel awesome. Yeah, so far, you don't really need it because all the enemies are so weak. Yeah, it, I guess. But we also shot this feature at the E3 with a giant monster. Yeah. If you actually play the game and he jumps off the horse and you take your time to aim with these uh, bomb arrows or whatever they are. Yeah, this might be important. Yeah, yeah. then it should be cool. About the horse riding, what I also noticed is that Link is able to shield while on the horse, apparently. Mm -hmm. Well, he uh, better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But he couldn't before, like in Twilight Princess, That's you true. couldn't shield. I guess we make uh, small steps with each game, like in the first game you only could use a bow, then we added a sword play, you know, yeah. you can do more things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the horse riding, it really reminds me of the boat from Wind Waker and how that mechanic works, you know. Yeah. You just kind of put the sail up and steer your way around. Um, oh, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. Hopefully they put in a mechanic with that like they did with the HD remake because it looks like there's so much land everywhere so you should be able to speed that horse up even more than <laughs> it's normal, you know. <laughs> Someone uh, online said that you can upgrade it to the motorcycle from Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be funny. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Silly, but yeah, was, maybe there's some sort of upgrade or... Yeah. They said they learned a lot from the Wind Waker remake so... They might do it, because there is a lot of empty land, at least yeah. from what they've shown. Maybe they skipped the, the interesting parts, we don't know, but... Yeah, that's my biggest concern right now, that it's going to be quite an empty landscape. We already, we already had problems with it in the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. Mm -hmm. Even with most, most open world games like Far Cry 4, 3 or Skyrim. GTA, Skyrim, you always yeah. have this problem with it. Of that we copy paste or stuff like yeah. okay you get the same village uh, copy pasted basically and or like in the Wind Waker you get lots of the same islands and same of the same platforms and stuff yeah this is what I feel in this game so far it looked look good but yeah at least the landscapes aren't really copy pasted from what mm -hmm. I see yep. it's really like rolling hills and then yeah, it looks very natural that you have to say yeah. I, I'm starting to like my theory of uh, this uh, not playing alone idea. Like, let's say you hide a treasure in your world, then you go online, and then your friends get this treasure in their world, and they have to search for it. And when they oh, find yeah. it, they get a little message or a fun item. I like the idea, but you would need some lead, at least a little hint, because if yeah. the world is so big, you can search <laughs> forever and not find it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great idea. I mean, that sounds almost like the uh, Dark Souls kind of mechanic where you could leave messages ah, yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. And in a way this would be an upgrade from the Tingle Bottles in the Wind Waker. Oh yeah. But here it's like you can actually hide stuff. Like, oh this is a nice pl place to hide a treasure. And then... Tingle treasures. It would keep the world interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it would. It, it would it would even fill in some of those spots that it, where it's just you know open area. Yeah. Somebody could hide a tre treasure somewhere around in those areas. Yeah. Yeah, it even added a lot to the Wind Waker with the ocean. You just find these little bottles in the water, and it suddenly it all it all gets a lot more interesting mm -hmm. than just uh, driving around the empty ocean. So yeah, yeah, maybe something like this would help. And on Miiverse, you're sure to get a lot of fun pictures things like that. Hey, there's actually a deer standing on top of a, a rock. Uh, oh, well, if you mentioned that there's uh, wildlife, but... Ah, yeah, he said insects and wildlife. Yes, but we only saw the horses running around, so... Yeah, there's like a stag, what do you call it, a stag? Like the father of Bambi? Uh, yeah, I, I think so. He's standing on top of a rock, like looking down on Link. Ah, nice. Yeah. 
That's pretty cool. I, I mean, they haven't had anything like this so far, and no. it's just so exciting. A few months ago, when I was thinking about the size of this Zelda game, I was thinking, well, would it be twice as big as Twilight Princess? I mean, so far, the world was never that much bigger than the previous world, you know? Yep. This is like 10 times as big. It's a huge step. Yeah, I, I think this game might become the next big milestone for Zelda after Ocarina of Time. Uh, Hopefully. Could be, yeah. Like, the real big deal for Zelda after such a long time. Yeah. So far, we had lots of experiments. For me, in Zelda, exploration is the most important thing. This is what I love about Zelda, is exploring this world. Oh, you'll have lots to do in Yeah, this game. so I'm really excited for what they uh, did here in the new Zelda game. Zelda U. That's the right direction, in my eyes. And yeah. Yeah, it might be the next big thing. Did you watch the uh, reaction of the audience in the, what was it, Game Awards live I show? Know, I haven't done this yet. This might be... it, it was underwhelming. They're not cheering as much as I would have. I guess you can't replicate the Twilight Princess Ruria <laughs> from 2004. No, but that was a different reveal, of course. That was A, unexpected, and B, it was an epic trailer. Yeah. Uh, it was probably because there's so many there's so many other people there for the thing for other things you know and then they brought yeah. that out so there just wasn't enough Zelda fans there for no. it. And I wonder if maybe people see this as a cartoony version of Skyrim. I could see that because in a way it is so far from what they've shown. I'm not sure if this video really sells the game to them. They need to show the real Zelda deal to make it fun. Mm -hmm. For me, like one of the most important parts was the beginning where Link ran up the cliff and, and did the skydiving because uh, one reason was it's, it's reminiscent of the Skyward Sword trailer which they showed in the first yeah. Skyward Sword trailer where we did this evil was like running up a cliff and then skydiving but this never really was in the game but now they made it become a reality. Yeah. And, and also there's this very old, one of the first artworks for The Legend of Zelda from 1986 where Link stands on a cliff in front of this uh, massive landscape of the evening sun. Yeah. And this is exactly what we replicated here. And this is amazing. This gives me goosebumps. After 28 years, you're finally getting what we envisioned with Zelda. Yeah. What if we could travel back in time to show these people this game? <laughs> they would yeah. be amazed, I guess. Yeah, they probably wouldn't believe us. It looks gorgeous and it's so big. Um, I wonder if that's the whole map that he showed in the end. Yeah, like you can see if it, the zoom out button stops. As the point. Yeah, yeah. So if but still, it could best, scroll, but yeah, probably it, not. it could unlock new areas. But uh, you already see the massive. If you look at the outzoom part, how close together Link and his destination are. And then we spend a long time, minutes, many, many minutes uh, to reach this destination. Mm -hmm. Even cut out parts and. Yeah, it's a huge saw, world. You saw the big distance, so you take this in relation to the entire map. It's yeah. It's big. And they've only shown uh, the grasslands and the hills, etc. And that's already... It has so much variation already. But we're gonna assume that there's also a desert and maybe a snowy area. Yeah, you can spot things on the map. Ah, yeah. yeah. I guess, like, there's... If you look at the map right now, in the west you have this small snowy part with a black dot on the, in the yeah. center. This might be like a tower or something. Yeah. The snowland. Could be a dungeon. Well, it could be clouds. It's hard to say. <laughs> yeah, probably not. But yeah. And Maybe in in the north there will be a desert. It looks dry up there. It looks like the Death Mountain, which we already see a sort of a free. It was like this red mountain mm. area. This yeah. might be. This might be this red. Yeah. Thing. This is like this small lake, which looks like a skull in the northeast. Yeah. This might even be the classic spectacle rock, you know, these ah, two yeah. from the old Zelda games. Mm -hmm. So we know where Ganondorf is. Uh, Ganondorf. <laughs> but what I also spotted was in the southeast, there's like this crescent-shaped island from Oracle of Ages. Might ah, yeah. be 
It might mean something, maybe not. Uh, yeah, and I, th there's a lot more water out on the side here. Mm -hmm. I've I noticed. I mean... I wonder how you get to the islands. Do you swim there, or do you have a little boat yeah, or something? a little boat, a raft or something. Yeah. If you t think about the classic Zelda games, you had always had a raft. Yeah, first you had to find a raft, and then you could yeah. get to the dungeon. Yes, so maybe you have a small boat or something, similar to the Wind Waker. It would be the yeah. first game, like, uh, even Skyward Sword had a small port section. Yeah, so yeah. It's entirely possible. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the map system in general? I like it, honestly. Um, it, the way that they have it on the gamepad now, I mean, it makes it a lot more um, versatile and, and able to use, you know, and see the whole entire map without having to go to your menu and all that yeah. type of stuff. Um, and it just, it's so massive. <laughs> it's so massive. I, I do like maybe being able to take a raft out to that island out there. Um, what about like in Wind Waker when you're in the Deku area where you have to uh, use your Deku leaf to fly yep. across and get to there? Maybe that's how you get to that. Ah, yeah. But if you look at the distance between um, Link and his de destination, this was... <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah. And it's all about the same distance, so I don't think you can fly that way. But you bring up a good point because... Uh, Sintwecker is one of the most mobile uh, games when it comes to movement because of the deco leaf. Because you could, if you have a high spot, you can pretty much go anywhere with yeah. it. It was so much fun. So it's mm. good that we bring this back here with the sail cloth. Makes me want to have a flying steed, like a loft wing that you can use. That would be awesome. I mean, maybe they might bring those back too. I mean, they brought the sail cloth over. I mean, yeah. it's. it's it's possible. Like, what if halfway? Maybe that's the fast way of transportation. Like you know, yeah, maybe. On a bird. Leap to the past. Yeah, but then you only had drop-off points. It would be more fun if you yeah. could go anywhere you wanted. Mm -hmm. But of course, uh, it would need to be later in the game so that you really yeah. appreciate it from going from a horse to the bird. Yeah. And not like in uh, like Twilight Princess where you get the teleporting. <laughs> quite fast and then you just don't use the horse anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you would need a reason because horses are obviously quite important that you still have an in incentive to use horses. Even though you have a bird. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Maybe no bird then. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I guess a sad love uh, is a good way of have a flying transportation but it's limited in a way so to yeah. using horses. But yeah. it offers uh, some possibilities like yeah, floating over an entire area. Mm -hmm. What I also like about the way they use the gamepad, so far it should still be an option to have a, a different con to play with a different controller and just put the gamepad next to you. Mm -hmm. and like have it yeah. optional. I wonder if you can still use play uh, still play with the Skyward Sword controllers. This would be nice because I like them. Yeah, me too. Swings swings the sword around. Use V uh, mode for aiming. Yeah. Purely guess, optional. So it should be possible, right? So yeah, yeah, so that far. would be possible. You can also use a pro controller. I hope they do this, but yes, bro, I like how he, how he can put on his hood and his cloak. Like in the beginning, he wears it while he rides horse, and then mm -hmm. later, in a, the trailer, he doesn't anymore. So maybe it's just a simple option. Or... I think he takes it off when he starts to fight. It looks like it. When he jumps off the horse, he uh, reveals his head. Mm -hmm. Not in this trailer, but maybe they cut out some part. Mm, yeah, maybe. Yeah. In between. But I'm still not a fan of a small ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, neither am I. <laughs> I like it, kind of. It's a different look for him, and I wanted that. I hope you can customize your Link in a way, like ah, okay, that would be cool. Change his hair and I well, don't know, play as Linkle. <laughs> yeah. I, th that would really uh, bring it back to their whole point of Link being a, 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 a outlet of yourself. Yes, yeah. I agree. Good point. Link was always the link between the player and the game. Yes. Yep. Hmm. Uh, and I was also thinking uh, this could be still the beginning of the game because it looks like the sword is actually a wooden sword. You can just look at the hot containers. He only has like yeah. 
five. Five? Okay, then yeah, so that's early number. in the game. Maybe it's even the, the starting number, we don't know. Yeah, maybe. But it could be that maybe he picks up his tunic, the green tunic, in the first dungeon or whatever. But I wouldn't mind running around as a blue link this time. No, I like the outfit. It's uh, similar to the Wind Waker pyjama. Yeah. yeah, I like it too. Um, I was actually thinking that they give him the blue outfit because uh, uh, the environment is so green ah. that uh, he sticks out more, you know? Maybe that's why he's blue. <laughs> yeah. But then what happens if Link wants to swim and everything will be blue and they have to give him a yeah. red tunic? <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Hopefully they bring back the different color tunics from Ocarina of Time. Mm. And from A Link to the Past. And actually yeah. from the yep. first Zelda game, <laughs> you had three colors there. Yep. I actually liked the tunics more in Twilight Princess because there was more, had more design behind them. It was like, okay, the Sora tunic makes you look more like a Sora. Yeah, yeah that's, those ones were cool. I wonder if you can shoot the horses. Oh, yeah, yeah, you want to murder them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would actually be disappointed if you had to hunt animals in this game. I don't want that. I'm a nice guy. Yeah, Far Cry 4, because yeah, there you can shoot stuff. <laughs> yeah, no. And you have a similar landscape, so try this game. Yeah, but it's a shooter. I don't like shooters. By the way, what I noticed after watching the trailer a few times, um, they really cut up the footage a lot. Yeah, 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 I know. Like in the beginning, it's sunset, and they mm. pinpoint this. They a lot, like. Yeah, uh, because suddenly at the next in the next scene they're at the beach. Well, yep. at least I think it's the beach because you can see sand. And... It was more a montage of them playing the game. Yeah. So it's not uh, yeah steady. But then, it later on the trailer suggests that all this time they've been traveling to this one point, which yep. may not be true. Because no. Yeah. Because of the beach, because uh, we saw that the beach is more to the east. Yeah. So we would have to travel uh, in the entire wrong direction. But maybe, yeah. maybe all you, all you know what did was like he was going the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But still, it doesn't really give a good indication of how big it actually is. The only thing that got me worried that they said like we are going to look for enemies and then we uh, make <laughs> some cuts before we sh could show the first enemies. Because I think yeah. it's important to have lots of enemies around and... Yeah, something to do. This actually leads me to another interesting point. It showed it has a day and night system. Ah, yeah. You even have a digital clock on the map. Like, <laughs> Which uh, looks so out of place, yeah, by the yeah, way. Yeah, uh, it's not a Majora's Mask clock, <laughs> that's for sure. But um, I was thinking that maybe if it turns night, this is where the bad stuff happens, where the monsters come out and the Minecraft style, basically. Yeah. Because maybe. if it's just like we showed it and you have, don't have much enemies around, it would be quite boring. Yeah. Yeah, it really would. <laughs> oh, there's so much detail in this, in this uh, video. I've been watching it all the time while talking. Oh, you're distracted. No, no, no. I'm, I'm... Yeah, I'm watching it. I see something new every time I see it. <laughs> no, I have to put it to maybe I discover <laughs> something. Right now I can put it to 50% speed. Watch it in slow motion. So, yeah. did, did you guys notice the uh, how different the uh, moblins look? I don't yeah. think it's from moblins. It was not just boblins or yeah, bokoblins. Yeah, they look cartoony, but not as goofy as in the windway. Uh, Scoured sword. Scoured yeah. sword, yeah. Yeah, they were monstrosities. Yeah. But you can slaughter them in thousands. <laughs> Iron Warriors, if you want. <laughs> the only complaint that I have with this, the, the footage that they showed at the end is I feel like they should have been recording it on a sc screen capture software because I would have loved to see more of the detail in the yeah. grass and stuff. And I think I th they might not be ready yet because we are still working on the details, so they shot it off-screen. And we are not going to present the game in more details until E3, maybe. Oh, okay. yeah, that's... Actually, it was surprising because Ayunuma kept saying, Hey, I'm going to show this game at E3. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> Bastards. They like surprising us. <laughs> on the Zelda Universe forums, there was one guy who was so sure that they were going to show something before the end of the year. He was right. 
and I think it's actually smart because uh, people are getting are starting to get a Wii U right now, and this might yep. convince a few more people. And they managed to reach the big public with this. Anyway, it should be a great game. We're looking forward to more information, probably at E3. It'll be playable at E3. That's something. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I won't be there. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. Me neither. <laughs> okay, Rick. Thanks for joining us. Thank you guys for having me. It's been fun. Yeah, yeah agreed. And uh, good luck with your timeline Let's Play. Well, thank you. Thank you. Okay, that's all, people. Let us know what you thought of the trailer. Thanks for listening and see you guys next time. Bye.